Hello friends, welcome to BISPSolutions.com. My name is Sumit and this is my another video in Python machine learning video series. And the topic for today's video is hands-on guide to compute correlation matrix in Python using pandas. So let's try to understand what exactly correlation is. So correlation is one of the most widely used and widely misunderstood statistical concept it's a statistical test of association between variables so the term correlation refers to a mutual relationship or association between quantities and it is measured on minus one to plus one scale the closer the correlation value is minus one or plus one then the stronger the association and the closer to zero is the weaker the association. It is useful to express one quantity in terms of its relationship with others. It is used to refer to a mutual relationship or association between quantities as I mentioned. So it is used to predict that how changes in one variable is associated directly associated with changes in another variable uh, let's take a very common example of correlation in our real life the sales team the sales might increase when the marketing department spends more on tv advertisement so when the marketing department starts spending more on advertisement so definitely the sale of their company for the TV will get increased or a customer's average purchase amount on e-commerce website might depend on a number of factors related to that customer. So the, the consumers, those who are purchasing items on e-commerce, it depends upon various factors before going to purchase any product or any item nowadays the customers they go for its reviews more number of reviews more positive responses more positive reviews will help consumer to decide whether they should go with this product or not so often correlation is the first step to understanding these relationships and subsequently building better business and statistical model so why correlation is a useful metric correlation can help in predicting one quantity from another correlation can indi indicate the presence of a casual relationship correlation is used as a basic quantity and foundation for many other modeling techniques more formally correlation is a statistical measure that describes the association between random variables now we have types of correlation so they the responses we get in three responses positive correlation negative or reverse correlation inverse correlation and no correlation so in positive correlation when one variable increases so does the other so it's a positive it's going from down to up and in negative when one is one variable increases the other variable gets decreases for example if the price increases maybe the sale of that product gets decreases and also the third one the no correlation when the value when the correlation value when the value of r is zero so there is no association between the changes in two variables they are independent they are not dependent on each other we can also predict the values we can also let we can also find out the r value strength from 0 0.0 to 0 0.2 we would be considering as v correlation from 0 0.3 to 0 0.6 moderate correlation and from 0 0.7 to 
zero because as we calculated between minus one to plus one, so it's a strong correlation. And usually in correlation, it would be calculated by using variable R. So R represents correlation variable. And after applying the correlation formula, the result gets stored into R. And we, by identifying, by getting the value of R, by checking the value of R, we decide whether it's a strong relationship or it's a it's a positive correlation or a negative correlation or if it is close to zero it means then there would be no correlation there are several methods for calculating the correlation coefficients and each of them they would be measuring the different type of strength of association and the mostly wise use methods for correlations are Pearson correlation coefficient, Sperman rank correlation assumption, and Candle stab B correlation assumption. And you can see out of these three, the Pearson calculates, Pearson is used to calculate the actual value. These two are used for just for assumptions, but the accurate result we would be getting in Pearson correlation coefficient. So now it's time to look at that how we can create a correlation matrix in python using pandas in my next video i will talk about how to cal how to use pearson correlation coefficient method to find out the correlation coefficient at present we would be going to use the correlation mat we will be using pandas to find out the correlation matrix now the data which I'm using here for correlation is uh, which we are which I'm going to extract or import into Python for applying correlation to create a correlation matrix is this abalone names abalone is it's a, like a tree where we would be predicting the age of abalone from their physical measurements and uh, the age of abalone is determined by cutting the shell through the cone and there are total 4177 instances in this data set the number of attributes are eight these are the eight attributes we have the sex length diameter height whole weight shock weight whisker weight shell weight and rings and we have three descriptions for sex male female and infant longest perpendicular to length with meat in shell whole so abalone is a seashell it's not a tree my mistake it's a seashell and we would be predicting its age based on certain parameters as you can see, we don't have any age parameter factor and weight of meat, gut weight after bleeding, after bleeding dried and plus 1.5 gives the age in year. That's the number of rings we get. And when we get the statistics in numeric domains, so minimum, maximum, mean, SD and coral, there are no missing attributes and the class descriptions. Now, we are going to use Jupyter Notebook for calculating it. So, I just write Jupyter Notebook and uh, I will create a new so I pass this command Jupyter Notebook. It create a new instance of Jupyter Notebook. So I'm creating a new instance. And here we are going to write the code for calculating the correlation coefficient on this particular data. So the very first thing we need to import the libraries and uh, uh, along with finding out the correlation coefficient matrix, we need to plot it on a graph as well so i use met plotlib import 
numpy as np import matplotlib dot pyplot as plt this is to clear all the previous instances from pandas import data frame read underscore csv now i would be capturing the data from here so i just write https and ablon names that's the data so you can see that's the data and the total instances are 4177 instances so that's the file that's the uh, url i would be using and that's the url and df is equal to read underscore csv from f csv from f and i'll run it so so i just read it read underscore csv and i simple write a simple display the data so df so it would be executing this will take some time and you can see all 4176 rows with nine columns have been extracted i am interested only in first 10 records so i write 0 to 10 and uh, we print df so it should be df is equal to and uh, it will print first few records first 10 records now next i am creating one co relation matrix method and i pass the data frame within it and from matplotlib import pyplot as plt that's for plotting from matplotlib import cm as cm figure is equal to plt dot figure ax1 is equal to fig dot add underscore sub plot c map is equal to cm dot get underscore c map and the map type would be jet type and 30 instances is equal to ax1 dot m show and here i'm going to use the coefficient correlation coefficient method so right df dot c o r r so a correlation coefficient have been applicable on data frame which we passed within this function so it will show that and correlation coefficient comma population is equal to nearest comma c map is equal to c map I just wanted to show the data in grids and we set the title as so before adding the title we simple write plt dot show and I'm going to call this function so correlation matrix I'm invoking this function and passing a df frame to it so let's test it first so as you can see here the matrix is created with couple of colors and we have the 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 these are
the attributes we have there are eight attributes and as i mentioned that correlation coefficient means relating to find out the relation between two variables so here we have one here we would be relating these variables with each other that if sex is compared with length so what's the relation between it sex compared with diameter sex compared with height sex compared with so what kind of relationship between them is now let's customize this little bit because it's incomplete we can see the grid but uh, i'm going to add some title to this so plt dot title and i write correlation i want to set the labels so whatever labels we have there we use the same labels so uh, length diameter length diameter height weight pole so i'll use this shaft okay comma v i s C E R L Y Stra Shell and Rings. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Mm. Right. And let's run this much. So I'll just run it. I just select it and execute it again and run it. So we dis we define labels now ax1 dot set underscore as x tick labels I write I use labels which we defined in previous step and font size I set as six then I copy this and define same thing for y uh, we want the labels on both x and y and now let's select and run it so it's a stick labels and you can see the labels are added both on both the sides the labels are too small because of the font size but because of i wanted to show all the labels so that's why i put this size but we can increase the fonts to see the labels we have added so labels are added successfully and we want the color bar so i write fig dot color bar cax comma ticks is equal to and when I execute this, you can see a color bar is added. So this would be predicting the values between 0 and 0.75. So we have all positive values. There are no negative values in this. So it's a, so this will be a positive correlation because we don't have negative values in it. And the value labels we added like this 0 0.75, 0 0.8, 0 0.85, 0 0.90, 0 0.95, and 1. So I'm, I'm assuming that we all have this would be this is to show this color bars. So that's how we can create a matrix, a correlation matrix in Python using pandas. That's all in this video. If you have some queries, you can post your comments in comment box. In my next upcoming video related to correlation we would be going to see the pearson method 
the pearson correlation coefficient method to find out to calculate correlation coefficient that's all have a nice day goodbye